Yes. Answer the question correct. 
differently for almost every other hunter in the world. They love fish, but here in uh, California, they are on a strict diet of about 15 different shellfish and invertebrates. They like those hard-shelled animals with no backbone. So you will see them in the kelp munching on things like crabs and clams and urchins and abalones and even some slimy octopus. Oh. You know, otters actually learn what to eat from their mom. So that little fuzzy pup right there is going to see mom eating an octopus and when he grows up he's going to enjoy a tasty octopus as well. Of course, some of their food are pretty difficult. Check this out. This is a sea urchin, very spiky. But despite those spikes, urchins like uh, are like that are so tasty to a sea otter that they will eat enough to stain their teeth purple. Very cool. Uh, now, I don't know, I have trouble with that right there, but our otters are very clever. In fact, they are so clever, we're going to take a look at a video clue here. They do some very mysterious things. So, contestants, let's look, take a look on the screen and figure out what is this sea otter doing? So why are out in the wild and they've got some sort of strange hand gestures going on? Are they A, trying to attract a mate? B, performing CPR on itself? C, using a rock as a tool to open its food? Or D, doing an impression of a gorilla? Okay, we've got two C's, three C's up on the board. And way to go, guys. <laughs> Yeah, any of you guys out here use tools with your food? Yeah, yeah. forks and knives, can openers, the occasional garlic press. How many of you use rocks? No. Uh, I don't know either. But you know what? Sea otters not only use rocks, they have a favorite rock. They'll stash it underneath their armpit to keep it for later. Very cool. But let's take a look at closer at what that otter is doing with the rock. They can place it on their bellies and slam that hard shell animal against the rock over and over until the shell breaks and they can get at the tasty meaty bits inside. It's a really good way of getting dinner. In fact, they'll even use their rock when they're hunting for food. This otter has found an abalone, but he can't pick it up, so he's going to hit it over the head a few times. And uh, let's see if that helps. Oh, it looks like that helped indeed. Wow, Our otter awesome. now has a nutritious abalone meal. But here's a thought for everybody. Are abalones the fastest animals in the ocean? Not so much. No. How about clams? No. Definitely not. You know, an otter has picked food that sits on the floor, sits on those rocks, just pretty much waiting for it to get picked up. Because little do those clams and abalone realize, but the otter can get through its tough shell. Our otters are very clever. In fact, they're so clever, they can cause a lot of trouble here at the aquarium. They don't have to uh, spend their time looking for food. They get hand-fed four times a day. And they certainly don't have to worry about predators because we didn't put any sharks in the otter exhibit. But all you have some really good otter trainers. So let's take a look at another video clue here. Let's see something the trainer is doing to keep that otter from getting in trouble. We've got uh, an otter who lives here right on exhibit. Her trainer is kneeling on the rock and there is uh, some sort of white object there. All right, our contestants are watching closely. Is this trainer a feeding the otter a giant marshmallow, B, taking the otter's temperature, <coughs> C, teaching the otter to focus on a target, or D, trying to gain the otter's ears with a giant Q-tip. Right, okay, players one and two are going with C, teaching the otter to focus on your Three <laughs> three is considering what she's going with C as well, and that was an excellent choice. <laughs> It allows us to work with our otters safely and stress-free. Once that otter learns that it gets food just for touching its nose to the target, oh, yeah, well, we so. can do all kinds of things to help take care of these animals. Like that, uh, that white thing in the background, that's a weight scale. So we can get the otter's weight, make sure she's getting enough to eat and not too much. And that's all with the target right there. Very cool. But we're not just using this training to help keep our otters healthy. We also want to keep them mentally and physically stimulated. Remember, these